Hi, I'm Eli and welcome back to another ignition tube video. If you missed the last video, I attempted to do injectors, uh, manifold, deflap, all sorts of fun stuff on this car and absolutely failed. Uh, I was thwarted by a uh, fuel pump connector and then when I put the car back together, it started doing this. Back it, all right, take the e-brake off and back up. I'd like to see that full video, I'll put a card up in the corner, but today we are fixing the massive coolant leak that I had. Uh, I took the car around the block after I ended the video and uh, there was some coolant that was straight up shooting onto the header. So I pulled back up here, popped the hood and it looked like there might as well have been a Subaru meet under my hood. There was just huge clouds everywhere. I, thanks to my buddy Aaron over at FC Piro uh, and my buddy Tim who works at Volkswagen Parts, managed to source the coolant line that was failing here. Now it happens to be, I'll, I'll grab it right here. This is, the, this is the broken one that we attempted to patch that uh, was no good. This hard line here at the end actually completely snapped off. This is right where it connects uh, to basically the upper radiator hose. Well, there's my coolant leak. Um, that's where the massive leak was coming from and I didn't even know that at the time. Um, this part, very hard to find. Uh, when we searched for it, there was actually only one left in the US and I have to give another huge shout out to my buddy Jerry and my buddy Duck uh, who actually went down, it was in uh, Warwick, Rhode Island, which is about, I don't know, an hour from me. Uh, but uh, Jerry and Duck lived near there, so Duck went over there on his lunch break and they actually drove up to meet me basically in the middle of the night last night. In the rain, Jerry got a new Tesla, so I got to drive that. Huge shout out to Jerry for, uh, for doing that. I was able to snag this last in the US part, last minute, huge shout out to, to everybody who helped me kind of find that part. Uh, I was basically up the creek otherwise. Um, and uh, you'll see me installing it on camera right now. Um, install went fairly smooth. Uh, that old line got stuck inside the soft hose, so I had to yank that out with some needle nose. That was very fun. But we're topped up on coolant now. Uh, our lines are connected with new connectors. I didn't reuse the one-time use kind of clamps. I went ahead and put actual hose clamps on there. Um, and I, I think we're ready for a start. I think. Fingers crossed. If this works, knock on wood, we're taking it up to Volkspawn on Sunday, which is a car show that I'm running in New Hampshire. Um, I think it's already happened uh, by the time I post this video, but I'm hoping, hoping that this works. We don't have any more coolant leaks and we can get ready to go to Volkspawn. So uh, here comes the first start. Fingers crossed, boys and girls. Although uh, YouTube does say that my viewership is only 2.2% women in the last month. So fellas, if you want to start watching these videos on your girl's account, uh, that'll help YouTube think that I'm more relevant to more demographics. Alright, small, small vape cloud going on down there, but I think it's gone. Oh no, it's there. Definitely there. But I think it's just burning off the whole stuff. It's just from down there where all the coolant dumped out, so hopefully that means that fingers crossed we're in good shape. I pull over up here just to make sure we're not leaking coolant. Logically, we shouldn't be. But you can never be too careful, right? The verdict is we're dry in there, at least right now. I got coolant in the trunk, so, and Home Depot's not that far. Hear that sunroof rattle? That's the next thing we're taking care of. We'll go see my buddy Brendan on this car. We're gonna take the headliner out, redo the headliner, and uh, fix whatever the heck is rattling up in there. It drives me nuts. I really like this car. Oh, it feels good to have her back, baby. I haven't driven this car in a week, a week and a half, a week. Actually, no, a week and a half, because it has a bald right rear tire I was gonna drive it to Connecticut two weeks ago, but I didn't because I didn't want to drive on that in the rain. We're gonna go see Billy tomorrow and fix that, but we gotta go to the home depot first. And the stady right there. Nice. Here he comes, watch this. Good thing I didn't rip on it on the highway. Do you see that? 
All right, one haircut and one day later, we've jumped through time. The RS4 is now on the lift with no wheels on it because, because this tire right there, see that wear bar? That's flat. So this tire was bald. The rest, the other three have good meat, but I got uh, actually a set of tires off of Facebook Marketplace from a subscriber who I lowballed. I apologize. If you're not familiar with where I am because you're new to the channel as of recently, I got the man, the myth, the legend. He's got his own intro music and everything. That's Billy. He is the official ignition tube uh, pipe layer and, and tire mounter. Uh, pipe layer because we always seem to be doing exhaust work when we're here, but today we're putting some new tires on the RS Good morning, we are en route to Castle in the Clouds. I got a whole crew behind me um, I'm Very excited so apologies for the kind of lack in continuity. I washed both cars last night by Milwaukee light um, there was no uh, no daylight left by the time I finished washing the cars. Um, we are cruising up to the castle. It's gonna be a big day. I'm very excited. We have a, a group of really good friends with us uh, as like volunteers, I guess. Um, lots of cool cars and uh, man, it's just gonna be a fun day. So uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we get up to the castle. My 192k mile RS4 is now 193k mile RS4. That's exciting. Right on Our squad rolling up. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> show is running. We got everything rolling here. We got the whole show set up up the hill here. My man Sarah is quarterback in the show over here. We got integrated engineering up there. It's a party, baby. Uh, I'm gonna go take some pre-registers. Julio, yo, how's the show? Really good turnout. Happy. Julio and I, we're like, we're always like, we're gonna film a video this year. We're gonna take photos this year. Never happens. What time is it? It's uh. It's uh 1:13. 1:13. The show started at like 10:45. Yeah. I was like, I'll grab my camera. I think I filmed one clip so far. But we got the integrated engineering boys out here. We got the S6 repping. We got the RS4 tucked back over there. We got Brendan Slow Shelby over here. When you do an event and your DJ is this good, and he also pulls up in this, that's where it's at. Alright, we're filming by phone light. I apologize for both the bugs and the lack of Volkswagen coverage. I was running around like a crazy person. I always go up there saying, hey, I'm gonna make a video. Then it never happens because uh, I always run out of time. Here's the Michelins, their Pilot Sport All Season 4s. Uh, all four corners, again, I got them off the old Facebook Marketplace. So they're used, but they're in great condition. They feel great, no issues. Uh, these are the tires. My buddy Johnny is coming to pick these up tonight. So sorry if you wanted them, they're already spoken for. Um, I think the next thing is going to be, we got to refinish these wheels, they're a little rough. I got to do something with these massive brake calipers back here because you can barely see them otherwise. Um, same story back here, I mean these ones are tiny. Got to do something with the brake calipers to uh, get it looking a little spicier over here. Of course we have the S6 looking great, it was amazing to drive both cars up and uh, see both of them next to each other. I just, I, this is so cool that both of these cars I can call mine. Uh, just. Wow. Um, anyway, uh, I hope if you came to Volkspawn, you had a great time. I talked with a bunch of you guys. Hopefully I got to everyone that was there. If not, I apologize. Uh, and uh, it feels good to have the RS4 back on the road, man. So uh, we got some more content coming up on that. I'm trying to get the downpipes knocked out on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video.